So we're finally at the end. We're ready to export our 360 VR projects for the web, and we want to make sure that we do it correctly. This is what this chapter is about, and we're going to start by knowing how to be able to send our sequence over into Media Encoder. So the best way that we can do that is to go to the file menu. And under the file menu, you can see here that there's an option to export media. Control M on a PC, Command N M on a Mac. It's going to open up the export settings of Premiere Pro. Something you need to know. Right away, if we exported from Premiere Pro's export settings, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to work on anything else until it's finished. What I would like to do is send this over to Media Encoder, not only for the reason that I want it to render in the background, but also because Media Encoder has this ton of helpful presets for us to upload things to the web. We're going to have to alter it a bit just to have the best 360 VR video quality possible, but it gives us a great starting place, which the export settings inside of Premiere Pro don't. So what do I need to do? I need to click on this little button called the Q. Once I do, this is going to prepare my sequence, the chapter 4.1 sequence for export. This is included in your download files that you've received from metal.com and you can find this in the sequences bin under the chapter 4 folder. With me sending that, look how quickly Media Encoder has launched. And in a second, what I'm going to see over here is in fact my sequence that I've sent over from Premiere Pro. So you can see that project has been sent over and it automatically gives it this H.264 encoding in this case, trying to match the source at a high bit rate. And it's gonna export this as an MP4. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a preset to automate this workflow so we don't have to do too much work later on for exporting to the web. And we'll do that in the next movie.